Hello and welcome to our first video tutorial for Mac Journal, the blogging and journaling program by Mariner Software. Now in this tutorial we'll learn about the system requirements, how to install the software, and how to register the program. Let's get started. Now in order to run Mac Journal, you need to be running Mac OS 10.5 or higher. Now you can tell which version of the Mac operating system you're running by clicking on the Apple menu and choosing About This Mac. Now the hard disk requirements for Mac Journal will vary depending on how much and what type of information you want to store in your journals. The application itself takes around 70 megabytes of hard disk space. To find out how much space you have available, from the Go menu, choose Home, and then look at the bottom of the window. As you can tell, I have plenty of space. Let's go to the Mariner Software site. Now we hope that you'll visit this site often and find out about the rest of the software that we offer, but for now, let's concentrate on Mac Journal. Click on the Download button. The download page appears. Scroll down to Mac Journal and click on the link. Now, if you're new to Mariner Software, the download file page appears. In order to cut down on spam, we ask that you fill out the download registration form. Fill out your first name, your last name, your email address, and then specify your operating system. Finally, click on the Submit button. Once you click on the Submit button, you'll receive an email from us to complete the registration process. Go to your email account and locate the email we've sent you. You may have to check your spam folder to locate it. Once you find the email, Click on the link to confirm the registration, which will take you back to the Downloads page. And by the way, you'll only have to do this once. Now that you're back at the download page, scroll down to Mac Journal and click on the link to start the download. The download window appears and the software will be downloaded to your computer. Now depending on your connection speed, the download time might vary. Now once the software has been downloaded to the computer, this installer window will appear. Now if it doesn't, we need to locate and launch the DMG file. Go to your Spotlight Search field in the upper right-hand corner of your screen and search for the MacJournal.dmg file. Once you locate it, double-click it to launch the installer. Now once the installer window is open, simply drag the MacJournal file over to the Application Shortcut folder. Now open the Application Shortcut folder and scroll down to the MacJournal application file. If you want to launch the program from your dock, Simply drag the icon over to your dock and you're all set. Now, to install the software from a CD, place the CD into your drive label side up, wait for the CD image icon to appear, and then double click on it. Next, double click on the Mac Journal folder and the installer window will appear. Simply drag the Mac Journal file over to the application shortcut folder, locate the file in the applications folder, and drag it over to the dock for easy launching. Now let's talk about registration. Click on the Mac Journal icon. Now if you've downloaded the software from our site, the security window will appear. Click on the Open button. Next, review the terms and the conditions of the license agreement. If you're amenable to the terms and conditions and wish to continue, click the Agree button. The Not Yet button allows you to continue using Mac Journal in demo mode until the trial period expires. For our purposes though, we're going to assume that you've taken it out for a test drive, love it, and have purchased a serial number. Click on the Register button. Now simply enter the name, the organization, and the serial number just as you received it from us, including any dashes and applicable capitalization, and click the OK button. OK, so that wraps it up for this first tutorial. For more information, please consult your user guide or visit our website and access our knowledge base in the support area. You can also contact us via iChat. We're here and we're happy to help. For now, though, have a great day.